yeah, I will. Um, from a leadership perspective, it was like, what, what style did I bring to this? What, what was my role as a leader in this? And I describe myself in, in two different ways. Firstly, as a cheerleader. Um, so my job is to really set that vision, sell the story, set the drumbeat, set the pace, set the cadence, and get the rhythm going. Whatever language you want to use, it was about making sure that we had a clear vision, a clear path that we were on, uh, and it was around setting the drumbeat for the team to roll on. From a second point of view, uh, as the inspector, it was making sure that I inspected what we expected. And it really is about rolling up the sleeves and attention to detail and getting into it. It's not about just setting the vision and walking off and leaving everyone to it. You know, the usual story when project managers and so forth send you status reports and you get those watermelon projects where you suddenly they explode in your face. I was not intent on having any of those. So, you know, I would read everyone's status reports. I would turn up to every meeting. I'd turn up to every Zoom call that I could possibly get to, talk to the people, get under the hood, understand what was really going on, be open, uh, ask, ask those um, questions, be curious as a leader. And that was really quite key. It was also key that I understood what I could what I could control, what I could influence, and what I just had to accept. And it was really helping the organisation understand those constructs as well. What could you actually control? What could you take ownership of and influence uh, and and run with? What were the sorts of things where, if you wanted to shift things, you could actually have some influence over, and we would listen to that and and respond. What are the things that were just out of your control? Just some things you just need to accept and you need to move on. And so, um, you know, as I say, those, those are sort of just a couple of concepts from a leadership style, which I think were, were really important. But uh, my final, as I wrap and I'll hand over to Andrew, go back to the point, we were very clear on our purpose. We were very clear on our, uh, effectively our true north. Uh, and we were very clear as a leadership group about our style and how we were gonna tackle this. So the question that I'll leave with everyone to think about um, uh, just, let this slip into your subconscious as you um, hear from Andrew, is as a leader, what's the shadow you cast? So I'll leave that question with you to think about.